University of Alabama campus at Tuscaloosa is under a tight security guard of state police as Governor George Wallace appeals for calm and prepares to confront a deputy U.S. attorney. The federal officers are armed with a proclamation from President Kennedy urging the governor to end his efforts to prevent two Negro students from registering at the university. The governor is adamant. He made a campaign promise to stand in the doorway himself to prevent the integration of the last all-white state university. After the federal officers leave, there's a lull of several hours while President Kennedy federalizes the Alabama National Guard and they move to the campus. Brigadier General Henry Graham arrives to tell the governor, it's my sad duty to ask you to step aside on orders of the President of the United States. The governor yields to federal authority, but promises to continue what he terms a constitutional fight. There was no untoward incident at any time during this confrontation of state and federal authority. Five minutes after the governor leaves, James Hood is the first of his race to become a University of Alabama student. He is followed into the registrar's office by Vivian Malone. Both the students are 20 years old and will take summer courses. From the White House that evening, President Kennedy makes an appeal to the nation. He says that the U.S. is facing a moral crisis and that it is the duty of all to uphold the law. Fires of frustration and discord are burning in every city, north and south, where legal remedies are not at hand. Redress is sought in the streets, in demonstrations, parades, and protests, which create tensions and threaten violence and threaten lives. We face, therefore, a moral crisis as a country and a people. We have a right to expect that the Negro community will be responsible, will uphold the law, but they have a right to expect that the law will be fair, that the Constitution will be colorblind, as Justice Harlan said at the turn of the century. This is what we're talking about, and this is a matter which concerns this country and what it stands for. And in meeting it, I ask the support of all of our citizens. Thank you very much. 